I'm, I'm really proud and, and uh, to be invited to give this talk. I feel deeply honored. It's, f it's a very sad occasion for all of you and particularly for myself. I'd, I'd um, like to just convey a message to Mark and your family from my wife because it wasn't just a friendship between uh, Magda and I and a collegial relationship. Our families have been friends and we've spent happy times in each other's houses and um, our memories of uh, Magda are just so vivid and so strong. As you said, that tiny body, but my God, what a, what a personality. Um, Valentin Fuster called me uh, yesterday afternoon at uh, Kennedy Airport and uh, reminded me that two days ago, I think, at the European Society of Cardiology, he um, gave the opening lecture, which was dedicated to Magda. So I, again, um, I'm really very proud uh, to be asked to do this memorial lecture on behalf of my friend, and I'm just going to work out here how best to do this. Yeah, so the topic we're going to talk about, the epidemic of cardiovascular disease in the developing world and the global implications is something that um, I think Magda uh, was interested in. And in fact, she asked me to give this talk some time back at one of the working group uh, of the um, uh, coronary artery disease working group meetings. My own interest in this really goes back a long time. I, I actually was born in South Africa, but I actually grew up in Zambia, about um, 2,000 miles away from, from Johannesburg. Zambia is a small country right on the edge of the Congo uh, and Botswana and uh, Angola. And um, uh, growing up there, my family actually came to that part of the world in the 1880s. They were real pioneers in that country. But when I was a medical student, like a lot of South Africans from that area, that place, we all went to boarding school, either either to England at a young age, or I went to South Africa when I was 11, and then subsequently went to the University of Cape Town at medical school. And what interested me when I went home was I used to work in a, in, in a hospital. It was a mining town. And what struck me were the differences in diseases between the black population that comprised 95% of the country and the white population. It was two completely different spectra of diseases. And then in terms of cardiovascular disease, again, it was completely different. Coronary disease amongst the whites, cardiomyopathies amongst the uh, 